All right, this is gonna be one of those short videos. I'm not gonna spend too much time, maybe five minutes. Uh, these are the screenshots that I took from Ratchet and Clank while I was playing it on my previous video. What I wanna do here, I just wanna zoom in and point out certain things. Obviously, you guys cannot see HDR through camera. We all understand that. You can't even see 4K through camera. We all understand that. Uh, this is something you gotta see in person with your own eyes with a really good wide color gamut 4K TV, okay? I'm sure <clears throat> all of my subscribers understand that by now. And if you don't understand that, well then you gotta learn about it, all right? So I just wanna point out here, give you my commentary and point out where HDR truly shines, where I took a screenshot here. Let me zoom in on, on, on Ratchet right here. You see that reflection? I came in really close to this orb and uh, the reflection from this orb with HDR on his face right here truly pops up. I mean, even every, every detail, even his belt down here below gets lit up by this reflection. Look at his left uh, face right here, and then look at his right face. Uh, let me point out, like, look, look at his right face right here, and then look at his uh, left face right here. It's all lit up. It's all lit up by this orb. And that's the uh, one unique thing about uh, HDR. Now let's go to the next screenshot. Now here's a, another great example of HDR on this game. Now I'm starting to sound like Mark Cerny. I'm just kidding. Relax, everyone. I could never sound like Mark Cerny because Mark Cerny, it's British. He has a British accent. And, you know, he has glasses and everything. And it's just... I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Now, here's another great example of HDR where it pops out. Okay. Right here. If you look at the, this orb, I came close to this orb. And just look the reflection right here on Ratchet. Here it's dark as it should be dark, and there you can see a little bit of, of, of light peeking out. That's because that's dynamic light that's so good in this game, man. Not only are you taking the uh, graphical advantage, GPU advantage from PlayStation 4 Pro on this game, but at the same time, you're taking the advantage of high dynamic range. And dynamic 4K resolution, obviously. I'm not sure what the source resolution here. It could be 1800p. I think it's 1800p. I'm not sure. I might have to check with Digital Foundry on that. I'm just showing you HDR here. And, and it clearly here, I mean, I came in as close as I... And this is natural. This is what HDR does. It reproduces that natural lighting and the natural contrast and brightness. Obviously, if you have a... OLED TV, like Mr. Struders, he has OLED TV, so on his TV, the deep black levels here will be unbelievable. Now, he won't be able to achieve that peak brightness that I can achieve with 1,000 uh, nits, but his deep black levels and colors, uh, those uh, uh, diodes, they're going to be emitting it all individually by itself, so the coloring and, and the deep black levels will be just amazing on his TV that's the one advantage of OLED that you will be getting obviously it's those uh, each individual diodes will be emitting by itself so everything will look natural now the only thing you'll be missing is that peak brightness nits if that's what really you know you need but for HDR you know the peak brightness nits definitely it's something that helps So let's get to our next uh, uh, screenshot over here. Remember, all of these screenshots you'll be able to see on my Mr. Forky Upscaler Joint Club. All right, here's another great example of uh, screenshot that I took. You guys can check out these. Uh, you can check this my. You can check my video, my previous video that I did, where I took these screenshots. So you'll know that I actually took these screenshots while I was playing this video game you can check my uh second look on 4k hdr ratchet and clank and you will see me actually taking these screenshot in real time while i was playing it so you can check my previous video 
to see that. Now here's another great example. Look at this moon right here. You know, the, the reflection of that moon. And then look, there's no light in in front of them. That's because the HDR is acting like a natural light here. And you see, like, you just see his shadow. That's because the light, it's behind him and it's hitting and it's overshadowing him. So that's why you don't see any kind of light in front of him. And that's natural. That's exactly how it should be. You see, every each individual light here, like here, it's acting naturally. Like this lamp right here, this light, it's overshadowing right here. It's, it's, it's beaming that light right there. The moon right here it's overshadowing that light on that bridge and it's not you know hitting him it's hitting him from the back so there's a light on in the back of him but up front you don't see any light you just see the shadow right here which that's how it should be and this game reproduces that very naturally with the HDR and uh, of course their architecture and dynamic light that they're using in the game reproduces it perfectly with the HDR they really thought about this game. When they were making it, they really thought about, okay, how are we going to implement this into PlayStation 4 Pro and HDR? And they really thought about to use every ounce of power that this uh, console has to implement into this game. So Ratchet & Clank, it's 20 bucks, and it's really a great example of what this console can do. Now, granted, we, ha we have uh, Horizon Zero Dawn coming up next week, so that'll be definitely creme de la creme to truly uh, show what you know HDR can do all right let's get to another screenshot here I got some more screenshots here I want to show you this one right here for example there's another uh, good screenshot right here I want to show you here in a second now you guys won't be able to see this but if you look like right here, all of these fireworks, they're all individually lit, man. Like when, when these fireworks went out, when they start popping out, the, the HDR was so vivid that each of these lines, the purple, the red, the yellow, uh, the green, the orange, all of these uh, fireworks would pop out individually out of the screen when that happened. And I want another thing I want to point out, the textures are so good in this game. I mean, they're picture perfect. All right, let's go to another screenshot that I, screenshot that I want to talk about really quickly before I finish this video. All right, here's another perfect example of HDR right here. If you look at this beam of light that's coming down, and it's coming down in a natural form. Everything it's being lit up the way it should be, like in real life. Uh, so the Developers of this game, Insomniac, they really thought about how they're going to implement that high dynamic range and that dynamic light. So that way, when the character is moving, everything it's being lit up like in a natural real life, basically. They're using the, the natural real life dynamic light and architecture here. And now when you implement the HDR, this is the end result. I mean, not to mention the textures. Like, even the, if you look at the textures on his hairs right here on his ear, every each hair individually, it's being um, rendered here. And it's, like, ridiculous. And this is another great example of peak brightness nits right here. Of, of that 1,000 peak brightness nits that you will benefit from a Samsung KS8000. All right, guys, so this is my third video on this game. I think there's no even debating about it. Uh, it's 20 bucks. It's really cheap, man, 20 bucks, uh, And it's really a great example. If you're going to buy a PlayStation 4 Pro and you're looking to show off your 4K TV uh, and you want something cheap, this is it, 20 bucks. This game will definitely show off HDR and 4K uh, and graphics as well. So there you have it, guys. I'll see you tonight on the Ghost Recon. Wildlands, but it's going to be the Xbox One S version. Unfortunately, I don't have the PlayStation version. All right, guys. Have a good one.